Okay, so I'm going to make a video of this. Um, got my son's 99 F-150 here with a 5.4 Triton in it. Has 250,000 miles on it. And the had an exhaust leak. The exhaust manifold gasket on the number one cylinder was burned out. And in order to get it off, I had to pull the studs. Now I've got a new set of all eight studs. And you can see these two came right out. They were actually loose. Um, this one, whoop, there we go. That one, that one, and the back one are still tight. Now last night, I had him take this for about a 10, 10 mile drive. He came back, I soaked the whole thing in penetrating oil. Just absolutely doused it in PB Blaster. I think I went through almost a half can. Now I've come back, those two came out real easy. This one, I just managed to get broke loose, but all these top three, I've heated up with a acetylene torch, got them red hot, and doused them with penetrating oil again, try and let it suck it in and soak in. Now, as you can see, I've already had to remove the inner fender, the plastic inner fender that should be in here. I've taken, taken the front tire and wheel off. That way I can gain access to these. And hopefully, with any luck, all these are going to come out nut, bolt, stud, and everything without breaking off. That way I can replace the studs, replace the nuts, replace all the gaskets all at the same time. Um, and hopefully, if this, all the studs come out, I won't have to remove that nut and the other nut that hold the exhaust to the manifold and pull the, completely pull the manifold. I'm hoping that I can get get this done without having to take those loose because a lot of times those get rusted on and you end up snapping that stud off. So hopefully we won't have to go that route. I'll bring you back here in a little bit once I make a little bit more progress and show you how it's going. Okay, as you can see, I did have to take those two bolts out back there in the where the manifold connects to the exhaust. I've got five of the eight studs out. Now, two of the studs actually came out with the nut up here on number one. On the other three, the lower one was actually a bolt. So somebody's been in here before, they've done this job once before, which is a godsend. But in order to extract the remaining three studs, because I am going to replace them, they're pretty rusty, and if I put them all back together the way it is, chances are they're going to end up breaking off um, before too long, and I've got the new studs from Ford anyway, so just put it all in and be done. What I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to double nut them because the little head on them is too corrupted to actually get a socket on. So, I've already got this nut started, but I'm up to the threads, the, the, the rusty threads, so. Now it's a matter of getting it the rest of the way on. And unfortunately, this is not gonna be the right wrench. Okay, now what I've done here is I've run one nut up on top, and these are the old nuts, but I've got this one up on top, I've run this one up against it, and now I gotta tighten them together, and I'm gonna use try and use them to actually back this stud out. Now I have heated this stud because I don't know if you can see it on this one, but right up there at the top, there's a bunch of corrosion, and these since these are aluminum heads with a steel stud, the ones that have come out already did have some anti-seize on them. I'm hoping these got anti-seized as well. And hopefully they'll come out, but I'm trying to make sure I heat them up enough to break this corrosion free first. Okay, this is about an hour or so later. I tried double nutting these last two. They would not come out. So what I had to do to finally break this one loose, after heating it and oiling it several times, um, and actually stripping one nut off, trying to double nut it, I put ran a nut up on there and actually kind of an ugly booger weld, but I actually used a torch and torch welded that nut on there. Okay, now we have gotten all the studs out. It took a lot of cussing and uh, a couple hours and several nuts to get that back one on top there out. That thing was, it br actually broke off on me after I welded the first nut on. So, you know, have fun, lots of heat from a torch. Now I've gotten them all cleaned up cleaned all the old gasket off 
and I'm gonna come back in a second. I'm gonna go through and install all my bottom studs, and then I'm gonna try and slide the man to get the gaskets on and try and slide the manifold back in there before I install the top ones. And that way, I can uh, I don't have to fight my way around all eight of them because it's pretty tight between the upper suspension links and the exhaust manifold when you go to pull it out or put it back in. So I'll be back with an up. I'll be back here in just a sec. Okay, so now I've got the bottom four studs installed. I've got the gaskets in. And if I can get my son to come over here and hold the phone for me so I can get this on video, I'm gonna try and stuff the exhaust manifold back in here in a manner which you can see it. As I'm sliding this in, I also have to try to line up the two bolt holes on the exhaust flange at the back and get them started at the same time so that everything lines up properly and it'll slide far enough back to go up on the studs. There again. This can be a little bit easier said than done. Okay, I got the back one in. There we go, everything's slid together. If he keeps phone on me for just a minute, I'm gonna get the top studs in and I'll show you how I'm doing this. Now, that's the stud right there. That fits a five millimeter socket. And here, let me get him a stool. You're fine. Now, don't forget, when you put these some bitches in, get a nice good bit of anti-seize on them. Because you're putting a steel, a galvanized steel stud in an aluminum head. And if you ever had to pull these things out again, the top of them, I don't care if they're galvanized or zinc plated or what they are, they will rust. And they will be a pain in the ass to get out if they break off and you haven't put any anti seize on the threads. And even with anti seize, they're still going to be tough to get off. So, we'll get these all started real quick. They 
if you see it in the video, I don't want to hear anybody bitching that I don't have my safety glasses down. Because at this very point in time, I'm not doing anything that should end up with crap falling, falling or ending up in my eyes. Believe me, if I've been using my wire wheels or doing anything else, I've had my safety glasses on. I can tell for that. Because the last thing you want to do is put your eye out doing something like this. And yes, I know there's still a chance I'm under a vehicle, but at this point, the chance is very slim. Okay, now, got them all started. A few threads in by hand. This is a oh, this is all right. And it's just a matter of getting them by that little head and running them in just like a bolt. Okay, now if he'll show you up in here. We've got all our nuts on, all the way across. I anti-seize the crap out of them, top and bottom. You can see the new Ford gaskets in there. These are all Ford parts. I would not go aftermarket on any of these. Um, just because of the difficulty of pulling these studs. You don't want to run the risk of them breaking. Now, the torque spec on these is 17 to 20 foot-pounds. So I'm actually going to go through. I'm going to torque all these to spec. And then I will have to hook up our exhaust flange back here at the back where the manifold. Uh, you can't quite see it from there. But where the manifold and the downpipe meet to go down the catalytic converters, I'll have to get those two nuts on, get that tightened up. Uh, put the inner fender back in and we should be ready to drive this. Now, if he'll back out just a little bit, hopefully this I can get this torque wrench in here and it's not going to be too exceedingly large. We will see here in a minute. Okay, so now we've got that bolted back up. We've got all the exhaust nuts torqued down. All right, Bob, go ahead and start it. We're going to start it make sure we don't have any exhaust leaks. see you couldn't hear anything we don't have anything leaking now all we got to do is put the inner fender back in reattach the mud flap that we had to take loose and put the tire back on 